Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to make this stacked garage lead in Serum and Ableton Live. As always, I have preset and sample packs available in the description. As with all my Serum tutorials, this preset will be made available for free below and all the sounds used in this video are from my packs or tutorials aside from the kick. Finally, if you're not subscribed and you're finding my videos useful, then please hit that sub button and give this video a like. The sound I'm showing you today is based on a classic Korg M1 preset, but I've tried to spice things up a little. So we'll start by adding a new MIDI track. Dragging in a new instance of Serum. We can color code the channel. Rename it. Turn it down. To avoid any clipping. And we can drag the MIDI over from the previous instance and delete this instance. Let's open Serum and choose the analog BD sign for oscillator A and we'll increase the unison to seven. Then we'll want to repeat this process with oscillator B. But this time we'll increase the semitones to seven. So oscillator B is playing a fifth above oscillator A. Next, we'll tweak the amp envelope to get more of a stab shape. We can initialize the filter for extra movement and make sure oscillator B is being routed to the filter. We're going to modulate the filter using LFO1. So make sure it's a sawtooth ramp down shape. Change it to envelope mode. So it only triggers once per MIDI note and drag it across to the filter cutoff. Now let's tweak the filter cutoff and the modulation amount to taste in the mix. We may also need to tweak the LFO curve. Now to add the stacked element, go to the global tab and choose 12 one times on both sides from the stack unison menu, which adds an octave above to whatever is being played. Finally, we can add some noise. I'm going to initialize the noise oscillator and choose the bright white from the analog drop down. I'll ensure the noise is rooted to the filter by checking this end box and increase its level to taste. That's the patch. So now we can start to add some processing. First, we'll add a utility with the base mono turned up to 500 hertz to ensure the low part of the sound is mono compatible. Next, we can add some drum bus. I'm not going to use much drive as it can cause sine wave based sounds 
to become too distorted very easily. Then I'm going to add some EQ8 to remove some of the low end created by drum bus. And finally, we have some reverb on send A, which I'm going to send some of the signal from the stab to. Usually I use delay and reverb on stabs or leads like this, but with this patch, delay can end up feeling a bit trancey. So I've just gone with reverb this time. And that's it for this video. I hope you found the tutorial useful and I'll see you next time.